Hello and welcome everyone back to the Powder Toy. Today is the day we have reached 160,000 subscribers. The first milestone I have reached in like two years because the channel is actually coming back to life at a pace that's a little bit worrying. I need to like, mm, I have to get fancier. You guys are really watching lately. Anyways, last time, or actually, a while back, we made this. This is a beautiful Isotope Z generator. As we can see, this beautiful purple Isotope Z is being created down here, and it's, you know, doing its thing. Um, I'm actually going to make a slight modification to this. Uh, I'm going to move everything up. I don't like how squished it is at the bottom, and I think it's kind of a waste of space. So we're going to move this up to here. Um, so let's see, if we get our photons... This is the issue. This is just stuck. I mean, towards the bottom it actually works quite well. So, how about we cut it down to, like, here. And if we had this... Hmm... But we need to actually get it to fall into a tube. So let's go ahead and pull this across. And let's delete the center point and create... Oh, I don't know if that's centered. I hope it is. If we do this... Oh, actually, no, this has to be as thick as this gap here. So let's do this. Oh, actually, that came out quite well. Oh, no. Uh, it's got a problem in the pipe. I knew this was going to happen, but it should be fine because I can just do that. Nice. And then this fills up to here. Very nice. And that's exactly what we want. So this reaction chamber here is ready. So this is going to have to power itself in order to be legitimate, but we are going to have to spark it to start. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to put a secondary... So someone said glass can funnel photons, but how well? So let me just do some testing. Hmm. I thought photons go through glass. Yeah, it slows it down a bit. No, I think the titanium is going to be better for this. With glass, you can make a lens. Wait a second, can you? Like, oh, that is not what I wanted, and now I've accidentally started the reaction. Whoops. <laughs> I believe in myself. Get rid of the top that. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, damn. Damn you. We do something like that. And then we get. Photons. Oh! That works quite well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm happy with that, but it seems that we don't have enough isotope Z to really get much of a reaction. So we're going to expand the isotope Z chamber a bit. The hope would be that we have enough isotope Z reacting that it's able to keep the reaction going, but it's pretty clearly not there. So we need this chamber to be thicker. The only way for me to do that is to make this drop it higher. I will admit I'm a little bit concerned about this. Oh, shoot. I did not think about that. Um, 
shouldn't... Wait a second, it shouldn't... Oh, I guess it will. Uh, where's my titanium? I can just fill this up, that's fine. Do that. Open this end. Pipe's gonna go like this. Brrrr. Okay, we open this up. All right, now we're getting a reasonable amount of isotope Z. This entire thing... ...should fill up with isotope Z, but we need more isotope Z, so let's fix the le rest of this process. This polonium is still getting too hot. We need to increase the cooling ability. I think I may actually put some coolers into the chamber. Namely, in the corners, if we just very carefully plop one here and one like here, I think it'll get it down low enough. Because we need it to be colder in order to go faster, because it's not doing enough. Okay, that's helping to drop its temperature. 90... 80... Hmm... And we have a bunch of spent down here as well. It doesn't seem that we are, uh... Cleaning it fast enough, so we're gonna put some more of my friend Void down. We'll put one here, one here, and one here. Oh no, it's not fast enough. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, we'll put three here. Oh, polonium. Okay, someone told me you can fix polonium by hitting it with... Proton. Oh my god, how is this Ace Attorney music? What the heck? It's, I have to make a playlist at some point. <laughs> oh. Alright. Okay, so see, that's better. Now we're getting a reasonable amount of photons. Now that we've cleaned it out. I mean, neutrons. I'd actually like more neutrons than this, but there's only so much we can do. These are creating isotope Z. The isotope Z is going down the thing. Unfortunately, we're kind of out of isotope Z, but let's see if the reaction chamber actually works, all right? That's the important thing. Let's give it a little bit of a starter. Come on. Huh? Oh no, it's breaking the glass! Oh, sh shoot. It creates negative pressure, I forgot about that. Uh, so let's create a way for the pressure to get out. Hmm. Allows air. Okay, here is our pressure release. See if it's better now. Ah, run into so many issues. Oh, come on. I know you can do better than that. No, it's still breaking the glass. I mean, it is actually creating... No, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of the glass. It doesn't serve much of a use. I think that we're going to have to redesign the neutron chamber to make it far more effective. Now, I have a few ideas for this. Uh, they're a little bit crude, though. And they do require removing the entire thing and restarting. So, yeah. Yay! We're gonna redo the neutron chamber to be better. Mm. 
namely, we're gonna do this. This is the big idea. We're not going to use Doot, since I don't want the entire thing to explode. But we are going to do this. We're gonna open this entire chamber floor up. Oh, that made the acid very unhappy. That's fine. So now we don't have to try to get the neutrons into one spot, we just have to kind of try to chuck them into this chamber, which is far easier. So what we're gonna do is a few things. This is gonna be made out of the rapid heat conductor so that we can handle the polonium's heat far more easily. So if we build a chamber like this... If this contains polonium... We'll get a lot of neutrons, but they'll actually get to the acid because the top is opened like this. Now, look at the amount of isotope Z we're getting. The issue is going to be that it's overheating. But well, look at all that isotope Z. Alright. So the isotope Z production has just been highly increased. Although somehow some protons are getting into the pipe. That's kind of funny. Look at the amount we're making now. That is a lot of isotope Z. So we have to keep this container cold. This is going to be done with the help of a cooling array. Also, why is this dead? Is the pressure that- oh, the pressure is that high. Okay. Looks like the fans really are not helping me in the way I wanted them to. How am I going to deal with this? Oh, the pressure in the entire thing is really high. Um, oh, simple, simple problem to fix. Very simple. We let the air out here, because then the vacuum force will be pulling to this side, which should naturally fix the problem. Ah! All right, slight problem, which is that this is, uh, now getting spent. We need to swap out the polonium to try this again. Why you ignore us? Because I'm focused! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to ignore you guys. I'm a bad father. <laughs> Alright. Wow, that's a lot of isotope Z we're creating. Look at all of it. It's literally just all isotope Z in there. Whoa! This is completely overheating. Um, I really should have made this loop run in the opposite direction. I won't lie. Would, would have made way more sense. Use refrigerant? Uh, I should probably redesign this again. <laughs> I, need, I need a thicker area to work with to get a good loop. This is just too thin. There's not enough space to do anything. We've made nice loops in the past. Oh, now we're getting contamination and pressure everywhere. Oh, jeez. My life. Ugh. What air were the isotope Z got stuff before? Alright. Air, here's the idea. Ready? Hmm. We need... This makes the most sense to me. Um, I need to make thicker pipes so I can actually get fans working. If I can get- oh, how did a photon get in there? Ah, uh, photons getting into the isotope Z supply is really bad. They cause such a mess. See, I had to throw out all that isotope Z because of a stupid photon who thought he was so cool. Damn you, Photon. Is that fire? Why is there a fire up here? Why, why is there smoke up here? Alright. 
Time to clean a lot of stuff out, I guess. Oh, what a day. All right. All of the polonium is spent and dead, so I guess we gotta clean that up. Oh, there's still a fan in there. Whoops. Okay, um... Now it's just acid coming through, which is kind of sad. Hopefully the fire takes care of it and it doesn't leak into our beautiful supply. Hmm. I really do think that I should just try to do this next time. Alright, you know what? I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I've done enough today. We designed the light chamber, alright? We designed the light chamber. I'm happy with where it's going. We have more work to do. I need to do, like, college work, so I can't just keep streaming or I'm going to fail my classes. <laughs> I love you all. Subscribe. And before I go... Uh, we'll just put a two here. Uh, before I go, just remember one thing. One thing. One thing for me, alright? If you really like the channel, and you want me to keep streaming, and you think everything is awesome, you should join... Discord. Dot GG. Slash. Spook. Vooper. If you join here, you can give me suggestions, you can talk to me, you can become a part of our empire and our economy, become a senator for Vuperia, so many cool things. So join discord.gg slash bigvooper, talk to me, I'll even put a link in chat right now, watch this, I am so good at typing, dot gg slash spookvooper. There you go, it's literally in chat now, so you have zero excuse. If you were too lazy to write the link, now you can click the link. Alright, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, hail Vuperia. We're gonna build a lot of cool things within the next year, trust me.